What's going on everybody? Welcome to another film study. Today we're going to be looking at Steph Curry. But first I have a, a shooting workout. I just made this today and it's a 500 shot workout. A ton of different shots that you can work on and I'm giving this away for free. If you want a copy, um, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then leave a comment below. And then send me on Instagram at MasonWaters underscore a screenshot of your subscription, and then I'll send you the workout. And whenever you leave a comment on my video, I think it helps it move up the algorithm and helps it get more views. So that's ultimately, I'm just trying to build my channel up, get more views, get more subscribers, but I also enjoy sharing these workouts with you. And if you're a first time subscriber, You'll see, see at the bottom here, I'll send you more workouts in this and I'll just DM them to you. If you're already subbed, just let me know and I'll send you this new 500 shot workout. Today we're looking at the skill of moving without the ball. And really, in other words, what we're saying is there's before Steph Curry gets a shot or makes a shot, there are actions he does beforehand to put the defense at a disadvantage or to get himself open. So the three lessons that I want to players to really learn in this video is one, it takes work to get open. You might get lucky, lucky against a bad or an average team and just find a wide open shot, but when you start moving up the levels of basketball from middle school to high school to college to pro, the higher up you go, the more work it takes, more actions, more screens, more cuts it takes to get an open shot. And even like in college, at the college level, even an open shot is still a lot of times contested. Number two, against the best teams, you are not going to have easy shots. And then number three, and I think this is especially important, moving without the ball is as important as your ability to create off the dribble it may be more important so what I mean by that is a lot of players you're working on your handles you're working on your step backs you're working on your scoring moves off the dribble that's very very good do that but don't forget four offensive players at any time do not have the basketball so 80 percent of the players on offense don't have the ball so you got to learn to move without the ball you got to learn to create scoring situations while you don't have the basketball so we're gonna look at a couple of clips here and I'm just going to point out some fundamentals of what Steph does through each clip. So this was an easy down screen. And what I want us to focus on here is how he walks Ricky Rubio into the screen. The whole defense knows that this is coming, but Steph Curry still is able to execute it. So he walks. You can see he's walking in towards Rubio. He makes contact with his hands. He doesn't push off super bad, but he makes contact. And then when he comes off the screen, his shoulder is almost touching the elbow of the screener. Rubio gets caught. It's a great screen set right there. And now the ball is still in the air as Steph Curry is going into a shot. But what he does, even on the bad catch, he's still able to catch, make a bad catch. He actually travels right here. But I guess you get away with it in the NBA and still gets the shot off. So the you know right here, obviously, you'd want to have your left foot down right here on the catch and then move your right foot up right away but he gets away with the travel. But this is the good thing about breaking down film because you can learn good things like walking into the screen and then you can also see bad things where you gotta work on your footwork. Um, one more thing about this is his change of speed. So notice right here, he's literally just standing straight up for a couple seconds, standing, walks for one step, and then he goes straight into a sprint. So to get open, you gotta be able to change speeds as well. Now, right here, what gets him open on the drive, I don't want you to focus on the fancy finish, but focus on the ball screen right here. So he starts on KD's right side, and I know this from a couple seasons ago, but he starts on KD's right side, so Schroeder is thinking right here, he's thinking if it's a ball screen, Schroeder's got to be ready to cover KD. So it's a ghost screen, which just means Steph Curry is like fake setting a screen. And now Schroeder, he thinks Steph Curry is actually setting the screen, so Schroeder's staying here. Well, meanwhile, Steph Curry's already sprinting to the opposite side. Now you can see it confused Schroeder, so he's behind. Now he's closing out from Steph Curry's side. And from this angle right here, Steph Curry has a wide open left-hand drive. And then, of course, a very impressive finish. So on that right here so far, we got a down screen where he's changing speeds. And then another way he gets open is by faking a ball screen, call this a go screen, and then gets a layup. So there's two ways he's getting open. Right there is just a change of direction. So it's off of a drive from KD, passes it off to Looney, but you can see right here, anytime the ball is in the post, Steph Curry, the Warriors all together the last couple of years just do an amazing job moving on the perimeter. But as the 
perimeter uh, defender right here, it's really hard to defend someone who is moving all the time when the ball's in the post. So you can see Steph Curry, all he does is just change direction, he changes speed, he's sprinting into a dribble handoff, great screen and great handoff right there to create an open shot for Steph Curry. So, and you you can even see the point, like this is an open shot and even in the NBA, an open shot is gonna be, you know, with a contested hand. There's sometimes they're wide open, but that's rare. All right, so we'll watch this one all the way through. This is a split cut. It's a post feed and then just a wing-to-wing -wing screen on the perimeter. So this is a great action for peri perimeter players. Again, it's hard. Whenever the ball goes into the post, it's hard for perimeter players to defend. But Draymond sets a great screen. Steph walks into his defender. So you can see he, had, he has physical contact with his defender right here. Before you come off of screen shooters, make physical contact with your defender. And then, of course, he ends up wide open. And I think his footwork is better on here, too. Yeah, so ball's in the air. He's planting his left foot. And as he's planting his left foot, he's squaring up his hips, getting in a low stance, and getting it up. For most players, don't practice from the NBA three-point lanes. You, you probably need to be practicing these shots from 15 to 18 feet. All right, so here's another way he got open. It's a fake split cut. So fed the post. Draymond's going to screen this time. Steph is faking like he's going to come off that screen, and then he just changes directions, gets up the shot. And again, watch his left foot. As the ball's in the air, his left foot is getting established. He's on balance, and then he's going straight up. So a fake split cut right there, or maybe call it a, a reject. All right, so another action here. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. Somehow or another, him and Draymond Green got their defenders confused. But it's like a double action. So this is kind of a screen, kind of, I don't know what this is, but let's just say it's a screen because let's well, just for the sake of it. But it's one screen and then Seth's coming off the next screen. And again, he's making contact with his defender before coming off the screen. And then, of course, the screener's got to set a good one to get the shooter open. All right, so this is one of the things he does really well is he's just always moving and he's always looking for open spots on the perimeter. So kicks the ball inside, ball gets in there, five, four defenders get in the paint and Steph Curry is just relocating, he's moving on the arc and he's finding spots to get open. And this right here, you've got four, this is bad defense, you've got four defenders on the basketball right here, which you could say is a four on one basically. And now Steph, he's just going to the corner and relocating. What a lot of players will do is they'll do this. They'll make that pass, and then they just stand here and just watch. If you ever find yourself and you're in the mid it depends on your team and your program and what your coach says, but if you ever find yourself and you're in a deep two-point range and the ball's in the paint, you either got to cut to the rim to try to get a layup or space out for a three-pointer because if you're going to shoot this shot, you might as well back up a step or two and make it a three. And a lot of times, too, if you're, if you're not a great three-point shooter, you can see all four defenders' heads right here are to the basketball. So any of these players right here could cut to the rim right now and none of these four defenders would see them. So you can cut to the rim or relocate for a three when the ball's in the paint. This is an amazing, amazing move right here. So this is a split cut again. And we've seen this action before where it's wing to post pass to KD and then it's a screen on the perimeter. But what stands out here is how Steph Curry sells this cut. So it makes that pass, and he's really just, he's kind of playing dead is what I say. He just act, he's right now he's just acting like he's going to stand there, and the defense kind of falls asleep, and then he gets low, spins, changes speeds. He goes from standing still and not moving to a complete sprint into a wide-open jump shot, and then, of course, a great, great screen to get him open again. And now what will happen is, as you know, if your team's running certain actions like this, like you're feeding the post and then running a split cut, if this defender starts to go over the screen, then what do you have? Well, that's when you'll start to have a backdoor. And I'll have some of those in part two of this video. This is part one of the Steph Curry study. All right, so here's another one where he's just, it's in transition, the defense isn't matched up, and he's just looking for spots to get open. Again, what a lot of players will do is they'll just, like a lot of players will literally just stand right here, throw their hands up in there and say, I'm open, I'm open. Instead, you've got to make it easy on the passer. Right here, the passer has one, two, three defenders between the passer and Steph Curry and an offensive player. But as Steph goes to the corner, 
Now there's not a single defender between the passer and the shooter. So if you can get to a point where there's no passer, there's no defender between you and the passer, that's good. But the point here is he's always looking for open opportunities on the perimeter. All right, so right here, you can just I wanted to point out he just does like a shimmy cut, so he's kind of does a juke. That's a really good move to get open. And then right here, most players I would not suggest a pump fake and then another sh another shot from three. Some players might be able to pull that off, but for most players, this is a shot fake, one dribble pull up for a jumper. All right, so right here, like this is what I'm talking about, shot fake, one dribble pull up. But here, um, what gets Steph Curry open is he, he not only screens, he sets a great screen. So because he sets a great screen, Steph's defender, who's right here, because Steph Curry sets a great screen, his defender now has to help on the drive, which, of course, now Steph Curry's wide open for a three. So the key here is, like, guards, you need to learn, and shooters, you need to learn. If you want to get open three-point shots, learn to be a great, great screener because these kind of shots are going to happen for you. You're going to get wide open shots. All right, I think I got two more here. All right, so I'm going to back that one up. So this is a fake baseline cut. He's faking like he's going to come off a um, like a floppy screen is what these are called. He's faking like he's going to cut off a baseline, spins around, then he goes off a down screen and a handoff. And then, of course, shot fake drive. And here's another one where he just relocates. So right here, obviously – Drives middle. What will happen a lot of times is players, what you'll do a lot of times is you'll just stop and stand right there. But you got to realize, that, like the first point, I'm going to back all the way up to the front here. The first point, it takes work to get open. And against the best teams, you're not going to have easy shots. So it takes work. Again, it takes work to get open. So we're going back to this clip. Kicks it out for a three. And he realizes the play is not over. So he's going to go back out to the perimeter. Knock down a three. So that's it. That's part one of the Steph Curry story. Steph Curry study. If you want this 500 shot workout, subscribe to this channel. Give a like on this video. Drop a comment below, and then send at Mason Waters underscore a screen on Instagram a screenshot of your subscription, and I'll send more workouts in this. This was part one. Hope you guys enjoy it.